Hey everybody, it's Kevin from Kraken Futures. In this video, we're going to talk about basis. When you're trading the monthly or the quarterly fixed maturity contracts on Kraken Futures, it's important to pay attention to basis. Here we're going to talk about what it is and how to factor it into your trading activity. A futures contract is a contract to buy or sell an asset at a future date, for example, one month or one quarter from now. The price of the futures contract is essentially the market's best guess at what the asset will be worth on that future settlement date. So in futures, there's two relevant prices. There's the spot price today and the price of the contract. And the difference between the price today and the price of the contract is known as the basis. This is also true in traditional markets. Except in traditional markets, the basis is a result of things like short-term interest rates and storage costs and transportation costs. In crypto markets, none of those things are really relevant for us, or they're really not well established. So we don't have interest rates in crypto markets. Storage and transportation aren't really a subject for us. So for better or worse, in crypto markets today, the basis is primarily a function of market sentiment. Generally speaking, if the market's bullish, the futures will be trading at a premium to spot. If the market's bearish, the futures will be trading at a discount to spot. Let's work through a few examples. So let's say, for example, Bitcoin is $10,000 on January 1st, and the March 31st futures contract is trading at $11,000. In this case, the basis is $1,000. It's usually expressed as a percentage. So you would say the futures market is trading at a premium to spot, and the basis is 10%. Now, the futures price is essentially the market's best guess at the settlement price. And the basis is the market's best guess about how much the price will change between now and the settlement date. Over the life of the futures contract, the futures price and the spot price will converge until at the moment of settlement when they exactly equal one another. So by definition, then, the further you are from a settlement date, the greater you should expect your basis to be. The implication is that the basis on a quarterly contract is almost always larger than the basis on a monthly contract. If you plan to hold a fixed maturity contract to the settlement date, the basis is kind of like you're over under. So returning to our previous example, Bitcoin on January 1st is $10,000. The March 31st contract is trading at $11,000. On January 1st, you go 1x long on the March 31st contract. On March 31st, if Bitcoin is worth $11,000, you have no profit or loss. That was the settlement price. If Bitcoin is worth $12,000, you would have a $1,000 profit, even though the spot market went up by $2,000 over that period. It's also important to bear in mind that if Bitcoin on March 31st is only worth $10,000, you'd have a $1,000 loss, even though the spot market has not moved. So in practice, the basis most quarters over the last year is plus or minus 1% to 2%. So the question is, why would a trader want to trade the fixed maturity contract? After all, in most cases, the price would have to move by 1% or 2% for your trade to even break even. There's two reasons. First, the basis is predictable. At the time of the trade, you know exactly what the basis is going to be. You know the premium or discount you're paying. Some traders find this predictability preferable to the alternative, which is the funding rate, which changes every four hours based on market demand. It can be particularly compelling to trade the fixed maturity contracts when the basis is at or close to zero. Because when the basis equals zero, it means you can hold the leverage position open until the contract maturity and incur no fees beyond the trading fees. The second reason people trade the fixed maturity contracts is that the basis can be profitable. In a later segment, we'll show you how to do a cash and carry trade. But at a high level, if you have assets available, it's relatively easy to lock in that basis. It's, rel it's a relatively low risk trade that more or less ensures you'll capture the basis at the end of the contract's maturity. Throughout most of 2019, that trade earned about 8 to 12% annualized. In conclusion, the basis is the difference between the current price of the Bitcoin and the futures contract price. If you're trading a fixed maturity contract, you should pay attention to the basis since it will impact your P&L. Traders tend to like the fixed maturity contracts because the basis is more predictable, and in many cases it's cheaper than the funding rate on the perpetual futures contract. You can also profit from the basis by entering what's called a cash and carry trade, and we'll show you how to do this in a later segment. Thank you very much, and we look forward to continuing together. Thank you.